Recently, I played through Fallout New Vegas with the help of some friends, and running through this game made me wish for a nuclear winner. The fun part about this video is that Fallout fans can't complain that I was playing the game wrong, because I was playing it within the acceptable boundaries of the game's rules, and if you don't like that, you're not really a true Fallout fan. Truth is, this cast was rigged from the start. The following is a completely accurate summary of whatever the hell you'd call my campaign. Trust me. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. The game begins with a pre-rendered cinematic that looks like it was made in the early 2000s, even though this game came out in 2010. But then, I guess this entire game looks like it was made like that. Then we get a two minute exposition dump about the current state of the world and who we are, and then get shot in the face by a ska band and that's the end of the game. <sighs> Man, I wish. We wake up to a pop-up because if you've got any of the DLC for this game, they decided that the very first thing that should happen in-game is getting constantly interrupted by notifications. Helicopter Head asks us our name and we introduce ourselves as Fuck This Game because fuck this game. Turns out we've got actual brain damage this time, I didn't even have to make it up. After suffering through god-awful UI for character customization, we suffer through god-awful UI for stat distribution, and you better believe I'm doing a stupid build because come on, it's me we're talking about. One intelligence is just how I play games. And now Helicopter Head takes us through a psychiatric evaluation that determines your skills, because the game designer said, yeah, having the player pick random options to get a desired skill is a great idea. And then asks us to do an inkblot test because, hey, does that look like two bears high-fiving? And then we get to manually choose which skills we want tagged, which means that the psychological evaluation was complete nonsense bullshit and a waste of time. Cool. Helicopter Head lets us know that he rifled through our stuff and read our mail, which is a federal crime, so we call him an asshole and get interrupted by a bunch of pop-up tutorials because it's already been 15 minutes of not playing the game, what's another two minutes of pop-ups? We get flashbanged on our way outside and get interrupted by more DLC pop-ups. Oh my god. And we finally get a good look at the Mojave. Oh my god, I forgot how ugly this game looked. <laughs> <laughs> we meet an RTX 2060 and ask him a few questions before I get dared to murder him, and you'd better bet I murdered that overpriced out of stock son of a bitch. I'm fuck this game and I'll do what I want. After going to the local gun store and learning some lore about Khan Academy, we head off to the next area incredibly slowly because you walk at a normal speed and have no sprint button. We meet up with some guy we can definitely trust whose girlfriend is being attacked by insurance salesmen who want to reach her about her car's extended warranty. So we promise to help out but then murder him because I know how this game works. Every NPC that asks you to walk a short distance away to help someone ends up trying to attack you. Can I like Skyrim this? Yeah, not really, no. <laughs> not really as I do. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the location, but I don't usually try it most of the time. This because... location appears to be yes. After eliminating the insurance salesman, we make our way across the flat brown map to a flat brown town, and some guy warns us that the town is off limits, but then doesn't try to stop us when we tell him that we're going to wander in anyways. I fuck with my movement speed and defuse some mines with my face, before Sonic the Hedgehogging my way into town to deal with the locals who aren't happy that I'm fucking with the game. We meet a guy who looks like he sticks his head into microwaves for fun and ask him a few questions about the package we failed to deliver and he points us to Deputy Beagle, who we'll find out soon isn't actually Beagle, which is very disappointing. We enter Buffalo Bill's hotel and doomguy our way through concierge to the back rooms, that we slice up like we're playing Metal Gear Rising. After saving Deputy Not a Dog and calling him a coward for running away, even though literally everyone in the area is already dead, he gloats about us teaching the locals a lesson like he did anything at all. He lets us know that we should head to a full motel to ask about the ska band, so now we're off to traverse this flat brown map again. We meet some Roman Nazis and listen to them spout their Nazi bullshit before attempting to murder them a couple of times, but I guess the game didn't like that because it crashed. Best RPG game of all time, they said. Right. After loading back in, we decide to spare the Nazis purely on the fact that this game might shit itself again, and we head off to the full motel town again. Time for more running through beautiful scenery. We find out RTX 2060 recovered from being dead just like us, so we tell him to fuck off and wander around town until we accidentally find exactly the guy we're looking for on the first try. So we ask him about the ska band, and he lets us know that it'll only help us if we help him first, because this is an RPG game, so we have to head off somewhere entirely different and do stuff there. Time for more wandering. Jeez, you might as well call me the Wanderer with how much I wander around. We kill some sentient bacon and wander into NASA, where we meet up with a guy who thinks that he's made of bacon, but actually just looks like a pig. We meet Derulo, and he spouts some religious gobbledygook at us about how he wants to ignite the Halo Rings and burn a path into the Vine Beyond for the Great Journey, and... Well, I'm like half right here, so it's not exactly the wrong script. We agree to get rid of some invisible enemies for him, and then the game crashes. Can I just call it game over here and be done with this? Uh... After eliminating all the Beauregards with absolutely no problems whatsoever... Watch it. <laughs> They're dead. Mm. I'm over-encumbered. And I'm dead. <laughs> cool. Well, this is not doing anything. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Hang on, one sec. Gonna pull out my shotgun. Well, okay. Or not. 
<laughs> you think there was a machete earlier? No oh, shit. No, he's gonna kill me. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yep. I need to find a bed. <laughs> Gonna stay there and let me do that. Fuck this game. Yeah, what was that about? That was hilarious. This works. We get lost for a little while and meet Chris Wink, who lets us know that he's looking for some invisibility drugs, but their sentient bacon hold up in the other room, preventing him from searching there. So we agree to help him if it means he'll go away. The sentient bacon lets us know that he's not leaving until he knows what happened to his one night stand, but we already stumbled across her earlier when we were lost, so we let him know that she's dead, dead, and not undead, and he fucks off. We find the shipping invoice about the invisibility drugs that says they're not here, so we let Chris Wink know and he fucks off as well, so we get lost trying to find our way back upstairs for a while. Jason! 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 <laughs> Jason! Alright, where the fuck is Jason? I don't know, press X to call Jason. Jason! <laughs> Jason! let Derulo know that we solved all of his problems for him, so he also fucks off somewhere else before he can tell us what's next. Jason! Jason! <laughs> Jason! 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 After wandering downstairs, he lets us know the plan to take his rockets into space, and we agree to help them find some components for the final launch, but it turns out that they're located somewhere else outside of NASA, so fuck that, we're leaving and never coming back. Hell, we're going straight to New Vegas now. No more of that roundabout main questy, side questy bullshit. Straight to the meat. Look out, Ska Band. Here comes Fuck This Game, and he's about to fuck you up. Right after I finish running across the map. See you soon, Benny boy. We make a pit stop to pick up Geek and Sundry, who is totally not part of the Brotherhood of Steel, except, surprise, she's actually part of the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay. But now we're back on track. Once we enter the town named after the Ryan Reynolds movie, we find out that we either need a pass or 2,000 caps to get into ground level rapture. And our options are to do some side quests or spend some time playing blackjack. And I already swore off side quests, so time to do some gambling. Well, actually, everyone's mad at me because I punched a kid in the face and then the game crashed. Best RPG game ever made. And yes, I know I'm saying role-playing game game. Turns out the game is completely fucked. Like, unplayable fucked. It crashes on startup fucked. So I refunded the game and bought it through GOG. Best RPG game ever made. Anyways, after wasting my fucking money and re-downloading the game again, we murder everyone in town so they'll stop bothering us, and then the cashier still agrees to sell us chips, and the dealer still agrees to let us play blackjack. So suck it, game. I ain't doing any of your side quests. And now, time for almost 15 minutes of gambling gameplay. I did this live in my Discord server. It was just as riveting as it looks. Now that I've got enough caps, it's time to head to Grand Level Rapture, where we get interrupted by RTX2060, who asks us to kindly visit Andrew Ryan. So we tell him that we might go see him after we're done murdering Ska harder than the late 2000s. We head into the Dreidel Casino, and a greeter tells us that we're not allowed to bring in our weapons, so we decide to bring in some weapons by force and kill everyone in the casino with absolutely no problems whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is going well. I see you're still sticking to the, the run and swing method of combat. <laughs> yeah. Did you sleep? Oh, you already killed? I guess Veronica killed Benny. Oh, Benny's dead? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I could leave. <laughs> How are you not dead? Okay. No! <laughs> there he is. Hi, Benny! <laughs> Benny in the jet. <laughs> Fuck you, Benny! Oh, he's dead now. <laughs> yeah! After giving the ska band a vibe check, we run away and get interrupted by a Roman Nazi who sends us an invitation to the Nazi camp, which we'll go to check out later, only because I want to kill Nazis. We head off to talk to Andrew Ryan, but RTX 2060 tells us the Geek and Sundry has to stay outside, so we tell him that we'll do what we want and kill all the robots in the area before heading up to say hello. We eliminate Andrew Ryan's protection detail with absolutely no problems whatsoever, and decide to reload the save so he'll actually talk to us, but he tells us that he wants us to surrender our AI. Give me that chip. So we tell him no, and he has a hissy fit, and then we have to fight his guards anyways, so this entire conversation was just a waste of time. Our systemic elimination of every robot in the strip is interrupted by Junkyard Diggs, so we tell him to fuck off because his cast comes later, and we head off to the Roman Nazi camp to call them Nazi bastards. After running across large swaths of nothing, of course. 
We listen to Jif Man compliment us and he orders us to do a thing and I hatch a plan to betray him. But it turns out they're a little too hard for me to beat at the moment and I can't leave, so I have to actually go along with the plot. After opening the doors to the basement, we meet up with Andrew Ryan again and he continues to try to boss us around because that worked out so well the first time. We turn off all of the automated fences and upgrade the RTX 2060s to 3080s and then report back to GIF Man who tells us to eliminate Andrew Ryan and report back. But jokes on him, we were already going to do that and then come back to eliminate him as well. Except this is actually the last time we'll see him, he dies off screen at some point. After getting back to ground level Rapture, we get bitched at by a cashier who threatens to beat us up, so we turn them and a random bystander into giblets. Now back to killing Andrew Ryan. We head back up the penthouse and somehow know the password to the secret chamber, so we head inside to wake up the... Oh god. We let Andrew Ryan know that we're doing this purely because we don't like him and on an actual good reason, so we fillet him and then eat his corpse. That is not a joke, I am a cannibal. And now we're headed off to check out Skaban's room, which we forgot to do earlier. We head to the 13th floor. What is it with games and 13th floors and hotels? Is this some cheeky joke about the fact that hotels don't label the 13th floor? It's not exactly clever. Turns out Scott Band was keeping Jim Carrey in his bedroom, so we listen to him exposition dump at us for a while and decide that we're going to carry out Scott Band's plan ourselves by taking over New Vegas on our own because all the faction choices in this game suck. Turns out we're already two thirds of the way through the plan anyways. We killed Andrew Ryan and have the chip, so we're off to hack into the mainframe and become Supreme Ruler. <laughs> <You're good>. Whoa. <laughs> Classic fallout. <laughs> Seems like this would be the perfect opportunity for Jim Carrey to betray us because we just uploaded a robot that was working for the bad guy into a mainframe that controls everything in this trip. But that doesn't happen. Alright then. We get a demonstration about the new and improved RTX 3080s where it's revealed that their current weaponry was just second hat to their actual primary weapons, a missile launcher and a grenade launcher. Wait, what? So you're telling me that every Securitron is stocked with missiles and grenades and literally no one that's ever killed a Securitron took it apart and noticed that it's got a bunch of explosives in it? I find that pretty fucking hard to believe. After heading back upstairs, Jim Carrey lets us know that we can choose which factions we want to eliminate and the rest will just get left alone, except I'm not allowed to just send robot death squads after them, I've got to do it myself. So we head off to eliminate every single faction on the list. Time for more walking across large swaths of flat brown nothing. We enter the homophobes of Steel's bunker and immediately set off to collect the self-destruct codes to blow everyone up for being homophobic. After getting lost for a while, we collect three key cards, then blow up the bunker. Unsurprisingly, Geek and Sundry isn't exactly happy with us for murdering everyone she's ever known or cared about in one go, so she just kind of walks off. And now to head to eliminate the next faction. What the fuck were those train tracks you just went over? <laughs> this is Wait, a ramp? A yeah, hold, yeah, hold up a fucking moment. At what speed is a train going over that fucking incline? <laughs> Boing there. Hop aboard the murder train. The fucking incline oh, of the train Turn around train. immediately. Turn around immediately. You're in the worst possible spot you could be in. No 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 Okay, you meant turn around as in don't go in here. Okay. Yikes! Death calls will fuck you up in this game. Oh my god, there's so many! Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, uh, Will, no, no, no. It's that bad. Okay, it's that bad. Oh god, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh my god! There's so many! There's more! <laughs> so oh, this is why you don't immediately go north to New Vegas. Oh my oh, god! Is... They hit really <laughs> fucking hard! <laughs> what? Oh, 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 <laughs> fuck that, I'm out. So terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. I think if your player speed wasn't turned up to 200, you wanted to last it by three seconds. No, yeah, I, it was only because I was faster. And they still caught up to me, yeah. Probably because I turned around. If you don't know, you don't know. Uh oh. Don't worry. Hello. Oh, 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 fuck, there we are. No, you're well, now we know. <laughs> Here we go. If I don't turn around, they can't catch me. If I don't turn around, they can't catch me. Nope, they're, they're catching me. They're, they're catching me. <laughs> they're catching me. Okay, they, those guys will stop them. Distracted by those people. Those guys will not stop them. Uh, I might want to just we, double check. Dare we turn around? Nope, oh. not turning around. Nope. <laughs> After like one second mid bunny hop. Okay, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. And no problems whatsoever. We have no problems whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Dude, what's that? What the fuck is that noise? Why does it sound like you're just kind of sprinkling them with fairy dust? 
That's the uh, if you've gained karma sound effect. Oh. I'm gaining karma for murdering these guys. <laughs> yeah. I, I love That's how so dumb. Will's current weapon of choice is fucking rebar and concrete. Brick you can use man. multiple of them. Yeah. Just trying to figure <laughs> is out. Is like... it just duct tape or is it more concrete to fix it? I just have like a bucket of concrete that I dip it in. <laughs> They're like, all right, it's a desert, so it's brown, right? You've never been to a desert? There's green and. What the fuck? What the Did you fuck? Quit? Yes, <laughs> I did. Quit. Still is. No. Are you stuck in the oh. rock? Yes. Oh no. Oh fuck. I was oh, just no. about to ask if oh, you've broken the game God. yet with the dog version. <laughs> Well, am I even supposed to be here? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. After deciding to keep Khan Academy alive so they can continue making tutorials that put students to sleep, and totally not because I couldn't kill them all on my own, we head to the next faction. We investigate the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and find out that they're cannibals, but that's fine, so am I. Off to the next faction. There is a way, and I'll tell you, for a little wager. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Suit yourself. Can I just follow this guy? I was just in the air. <laughs> just what? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Hold it right 51, there, right? Don't you move? How the hell <laughs> hey, you that you're a fence pole. We meet up with some boomers, and they immediately start ordering us around like they make the rules, so we're just going to ignore them. Jim Carrey congratulates us on getting lazy and letting some factions live, so we make some plans to take down the cashiers and the Roman Nazis and head off to make preparations. I'm gonna duck out. I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, see you around, man. See ya. Good luck with your genocide. <laughs> it's not genocide because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to Yes Man. Here we go. <laughs> I'd be willing to bet there are people who've done like full kill playthroughs, there are people who've done no kill playthroughs, but I would bet there's not many people who do like a half-hearted, half-kill playthrough. <laughs> yeah. Where you just, like, flip a coin and decide who lives and who dies. It's the most extremely unsatisfying way to play New Vegas. People are gonna hate me for it. I really want to yell at you for the choices. <laughs> we meet back up with Jim Carrey and head to the dam, where we murder our way through everyone to gain control of the system. After plugging in Jim Carrey, we reroute his power to boot up our Bitcoin farm and run everyone in the area out of business. And now we're off to deal with the last of Gift Man's Legion with absolutely no problems whatsoever. From this wasteland they say you are going We will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile For they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our road for a while So come sit by my side if you love me Do not hasten to bid me adieu Just remember the new Vegas Valley Now at last all my fond hopes have vanished For they say that you're going away So come sit by my side if you love me Do not hasten to bid me adieu 
Just remember the New Vegas Valley And the drifter that loved you so true After finally finishing off Jeff Man's Legion 30 minutes later, we prepare to leave the base but get ambushed by the cashiers, who try to congratulate us on our achievement and get buddy-buddy, but they're not getting off that easy. The RTX 3080s eliminate everyone in the area, and Jim Carrey lets us know that he figured out how to reprogram himself to become more assertive. And that's not code for him betraying us. He still stays on our side the whole time. Okay then. And that's the end of the game. We get a montage of our choices and their impact on the world, and the credits roll. Game over. Special thanks to my patrons for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel as well, you'll get your own custom avatar that'll go at the end of the videos that you help support that month. 